Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I got another email here, a good question about something I don't think I've really talked about on this channel. I might have mentioned it briefly. I know I've talked about it on some podcasts, but this is something that I think a lot of people, especially if you don't have a degree in, in the software development, computer science, computer engineering, for uh, you know who you are, who, 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 who doesn't like me to call it computer science. Anyway, uh, this is something that, that might interest you. So I got this email from Dale. Dale has really been uh, adamant about emailing me and following up and, and it's good. He, he's, I can tell he's really motivated. Anyway, Dale said here, um, hi John, what is your view on certification? I did a search on Simple Programmer to see if I missed anything, but nothing jumped out. Good thing to do before emailing me, by the way. If you search first, that that's, uh, you know, because otherwise I'm just gonna send you a link to a post, uh, you know, so, so good. Good on you. Um, I do intend to get a few this year, and as a career man these days, it does help. What's your general view, though? Uh, know your ish, improve it, or get some creds to flash, Dale. All right, Dale, here's the deal. So, uh, certifications a lot of times are meaningless. It doesn't mean that you actually know something, and I, I've come up against, I've actually come out against some certifications. Right? I really didn't like the Scrum Master certification because you basically got it for breathing the same air as a Scrum Master for two days, and it didn't really prove anything, and all these people were getting it, they were charging a lot of money for this certification, which you know, Scrum itself I find valuable, but this certification I do not, right? Uh, but now that doesn't mean that I'm against certifications. I'm against certification schemes, right? Where someone tries to make money off of certifications and tries to peddle it as more than it's worth, but not all certifications are that. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't get the certification anyway, because there's, you know, what is good for the industry and what's good for you, and they're often different things. So, um, so what I think about certifications in general is that it, it doesn't really prove anything. I'm not gonna look at someone who has certification and say, oh, they must know this, because they might not actually know the thing they're certified in, I, you know, that, that happens. But it does show me one thing about them, is that they're dedicated, that they care enough to get the certification, right? It, it usually means something, especially if it's a difficult one to achieve. Now, you know, spending two days in the room with a scrum master, I, I know it's become more difficult now, but I'm just using it as an example because that's the last time I looked at the certification. So, you know, I don't mean to insult you if you have scrum master certification. Obviously, they've added some more scrutiny to it. I've heard, you know, I haven't checked out myself, so I can't really comment on that. But some certifications are easy to achieve. I myself, I got all my Microsoft certifications back in the day, you know, MCDBA, MCSD, MCDBA, I don't even remember what they are. And I even had MCSE, Microsoft Systems, Certified Systems Engineer, uh, back then. I basically got every Microsoft certification that I could. This was before I had a degree, and this was before I really had a, a good job in software development. And the reason why I did that, and this is why I would say that certifications can be good, is because I wanted to show my boss that I was serious about my education and about improving. And so, you know, the best way to do that was to do all these certifications. Uh, my employer was actually paying for the, the testing of them at that time, so, you know, that that was a good thing to utilize that what they're, that resource they're giving me. And I just started my butt off. I passed all these certifications in one year. I got like all my Microsoft certifications. And that really helped me in my career because not because of the certifications themselves. In fact, I don't think my boss even knew what the certifications were. He just saw that they were Microsoft certifications, right? And said, oh, wow, John is really kicking butt here. And that's the value, right? It's to show that you are dedicated, right? Things that you can do that show that you are above average, that you really want it, that you are committed to, uh, to being a better developer, to improving your career, to improving your life. Those are the kind of things that are gonna help you. The certification itself might not mean much. Maybe you're gonna learn something studying for it. Maybe it's gonna show that you know something. And, and hey, it'll probably look good on a resume. It's not gonna hurt you on a resume, right? It's not gonna hurt you to have the certification. But don't just don't bank on it. Don't say, oh, when I get my Java certification or my CNA or whatever it is, you know, that I'm gonna be able to get this awesome job. That's not the case. It's it's gonna help you, perhaps, but it doesn't really prove anything. 
You know, you know I'm, if you've gotten a lot of certifications, you, you probably know this already. Uh, I'm sorry if you've invested a lot of time and money into it and you thought that that was going to be the thing that's going to get you a super high paying job. It's not. It will help you on the way, but utilize it in the right way. Utilize it as a way to show how dedicated you are and you know, do it for the right reason. So that's, that's, that's where I stand on it. Like I said, I'm not against certifications. Go ahead and get them. Just don't pour too much credit into them. Don't pour too much effort. Don't assume that that is an instant win to get a job. Now, there was a period of time where getting the Scrum Master certification when, you know, when this was first going crazy was like a, a thing that could really help you get a, a job. I mean, you got to ride the waves if you can. I mean, obviously, like do what's smart, right? Like, you know, don't don't stand on some principle of oh, well, the certification is meaningless. If it's going to help you get the job and get you the higher paying job, then go out and get it, even if it is meaningless. Who cares? It won't take you very long. Big deal. But you know, again, don't bank on it either. So that's my advice on certifications. Hopefully, this helps you. Uh, if you are thinking about getting a certification instead of a degree. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I've talked about do developers need degrees. You can, if you search on simpleprogrammer.com, you can certainly find that. All right. Uh, I will talk to you next time. And there's something I'm supposed to, oh yeah. Subscribe to this channel if you like these videos. Leave a comment below uh, and uh, I'll be happy to get back to you. And hey, if you want me to answer your question, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And you know, I can't answer everyone's question, but I do answer a lot of them. So, uh, thanks and uh, take care. Talk to you next time.